What is up everybody? This is Eric, the one and only Bayer Collector, and today I'm doing a game review of a very interesting game from my youth, but something that I recently experienced, and that game is Amagon for the NES. Now, this game was made back in 1989 by American Sammy, and you play as the Marine Amagon, um, out to escape an island full of monsters. Um, basically, you crash land your plane on this island and then the boat comes to rescue you. However, the damn boat is all the way at the other end of the island. Um, so Amagon has to go through the island to get to the boat, which is kind of dumb. They can just have the boat go around. Anyways, that's the story. Um, and it's a 2D side-scrolling platformer. Um, one of the interesting things is that um, your main weapon is a machine gun. Um, it runs out of ammo eventually. Once you start shooting, um, you run out of ammo. And then you're able to turn into this guy, Megagon, which is a very beefed up version of Amagon. Um, and it's like a power up. Um, you don't use the gun, but you use the punch ability. Like you just punch enemies and the damage is like way, like eight times more, 16 times more than than your gun. Um the interesting thing is that the Japanese version it says that it's a drug that gets given to the to to Amagon. So I guess you know they were they were condoning um steroids back in the days. Nah, but I guess that's the way that it, they described it that the Japanese version is a it's a drug that you take. And the US version is I think you collect an M or like power ups and you turn into um Megagon. But all in all it's a 2D side scroller. Um really it's a interesting game but it's super 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 hard um i use cheat cheats to um get through the game because one hit will literally kill you um it, it's one of those things that the gameplay is just really tough but at the end of the day with cheats is not as bad it's a pretty decent game another interesting thing is that the last level boss um i guess the image of the boss is is based on the flats woods monster which I just recently discovered that and it's basically a, a, a monster like a space alien that was supposedly crash landed in um, West Virginia back in the 1950s. Um, I never knew that. That's an interesting note. But all in all, um, yeah, pretty, it's an all right game. Um, back in the days when I was a kid, this game was in every, every stand, just like, every, like the games I mentioned before, like Three Stooges and um, Hoops and whatnot. Um, to this day, it's not a very expensive game to own, but it's a decent one for you guys to check out. Um, it's one of those games that I used to always see it, but I never, it always used to catch my eye. I like the artwork on it. It's pretty, it's pretty deep. It's pretty cool, um, but it never caught my eye enough to buy it. So yeah, give this one a try. You won't be disappointed. It's fun. I recommend you playing it with cheats because without cheats, it's super hard. So yeah, um, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay of the game. Um, you guys take care and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.
Thank <laughs> you.